Pass that off this lap, my friend. King Harald's longhouse. I should find another memory fragment here. Just a bit. Young Harold has made quite a name for himself in our time away. Twelve or thirteen years, I think. Sigurd! Eivor! You are welcome here. Come! I got word that you would visit, but I <laughs> did not expect you so soon. Stout men huddled around a map with eyes as hungry as their bellies. Little has changed there. Yes. I've spent half my life worrying over hastily drawn maps. But this is not a land we mean to conquer. It is a land in need of aid. Iceland? Yes. Our friend Ingolver sends word that his new settlement is in peril. Cold winters and simmering blood feud. I have agreed to send supplies and men. Enough to bring peace and ride out the winter. Eivor, it may be your coming here at this time to this place. ...is a blessing from Thor himself. Would you and your brother lead this expedition for me? I cannot think of a better pairing to see this through. Eivor... ...this is faded. I long for such an adventure. Tell me your mind. Does your heart fire burn for another expedition? I'm grateful for the offer... ...but I have not come here to walk down well-worn roads. I'm here to say farewell, for once and all. For once and all? Are you leaving England as well? I am. Sailing west. Accompanied only by myself. To a land found on no map. For what need? I will discover that only when I arrive. But that is tomorrow. Today, I would like to spend time in the company of those I love, and tell stories from long ago. <laughs> Beginning when? Long, long ago. You understand? Uncle, clear the room, and bring mead and roasted minkval for three. Now, where to begin? You are Eivor, yes? Of the Raven's Flock? I heard you had returned. Not with war on your mind, I hope. War is never far from my mind, King Harald. But I have no quarrel with you. Good to hear. Have your victories in England satisfied your its for conquest? Ask me again in ten or twenty years, when the island is all Norse and Dane, and men have forgotten the name of King Alfred. <laughs> so what brings you here, to my shores? I come to speak of Stirbjörn. ...of a man I call father and friend. I want to ask that in his dying days you will tend to him... ...with respect, with honor, and see that he dies with dignity. I will do what I can for the man, for he has been a loyal retainer. But there is only so much I can do. A man must care for himself. What you say is fair. Only watch over him, and if he should wreck himself in your care... ...that will be his burden to bear. 
That I will do. <laughs>